day that has been very much in the making for a while now. We are here at the first scrimmage for the Faulkner Esports team and we are going to be having a uh, team on team battle, blue versus white. So we are going to be having a Smash Brothers uh, crew battle, which is exactly the way that they see their competition. So it's going to be a really great way to get a preview of what some of the, uh, what some of the competition is going to look like for this season. Um, Cole, what are you looking forward to? I'm looking forward to some good gameplay, um, especially some uh, good combos from our team here. Um, for a good start, I'd like to see what our team has.
All right, so for our first matchup, um, we have Charles Greet versus uh, Chad, who was representing the... <laughs> Chad's on blue. Uh, Chad's on blue, and we've got Andrew on white, so we'll see how that goes. Oh, Ch sorry, Chad's on white. Andrew's on blue. <laughs> so it looks like they're going to go with small battlefield. Nope. Plot twist, they're going with battlefield. <laughs> yep, yeah, they got us there. All right, I'm, I'm interested to see how this goes. Oh, looks like we got three yeah. players on here. That's not that's not going to be good. Okay, there, oh, there we go. go. Yep. So we got Chad. We've oh. got um, Andrew. And it looks like... we got Browser versus Link, it looks like. Yep. Oh, no, no. Uh, green threw me off there. Oh, yeah, you saw green. You're like, oh, it's Link, obviously. <laughs> the only character I know. <laughs> well, you know, he's blue now. Oh uh, really? All yeah. Right. Well, the new the new uh, game with uh, Breath of the Wild, he was blue. All, All right. right. Palutena starting out with a powerful forward smash. Indeed. And, and Chad, uh, you know, like all Bowser players, really likes that drop kick move, and I don't blame him. It's a good move. No, it's very nice. Um, d does a lot of damage. Tons of knockback. You can understand why he'd want to open with that. Right. And um, you know, it's and interesting because even though these characters are not heavies, um, or not both heavies, Bowser's definitely a heavy. But their attack power is is really not that unmatched. Like these are both uh, very much power characters, and you can see that from the like really high flying big attacks we're seeing from both of them there. Uh, oh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's funny how they're all smashing up. Like I, we didn't see yeah. a lot of side smashes in that. No, not at all. Now, uh, just for those of you that are watching at home that have never seen a crew battle before, the way that this works is um, whoever actually winds up having the most stocks at the end, like however many stocks that the player loses, uh, that is going to be carried over into the next battle. So it's kind of like a relay race. Right, yeah. So um, very different than uh, the Rocket League. I, yeah. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> you know, where everything just like starts over in the next one. Right. Wow, that's very interesting. You uh, know, I, I've only done 1v1s as Smash Brothers so far, but I do enjoy the crew battle. It's, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a different kind of venue. It's a, a different kind of format that I'm not used to, but I'm uh, yeah. looking forward to seeing how well my coaching has uh, <laughs> uh, been Plays out, yeah. yeah. Oh, man, nice. Ooh. You saw him try to go for that you down spike, there. and then he immediately like uses um, uh, uses Palutena's Ray of Light. Oh, okay, man, so saw, there it is. So what you saw was Andrew kept trying to do, like, a, a tap-in and retreat and a tap-in and retreat, and eventually Bowser just punished him for yep. it. Yep, yeah, <laughs> caught on. Yep. Palutena using a lot of that, uh, using the neutral air, which uh, Bowser's Ooh. aerials really aren't bad, but he certainly uh, doesn't have the aerial prowess that you're getting from Palutena. So, like, in the air, I think Palutena probably wins this matchup just based on the character herself, uh, on the ground, I'd have to get the nod to Bowser. Oh, yeah, for sure. Well, part of that is because she's a lot lighter, too. All right. Oh, oh and there we go. <laughs> there we go. All right, so that was actually a really close first round. Close round there. Now, the one advantage of keeping a stock till the end is that your damage reset. So, like, you do lose your stocks, but you don't lose your damage. So you, you start over at zero. So that's right. actually something that's very helpful as well. Indeed. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get the next round started. It looks like, um, so since Charlie won that last one, Will gets to pick the uh, character after him, and also he gets to ban a stage. So it'll be interesting to see how he tries to, to balance that. I'm not sure exactly what the best stage to be, uh, because he knows he's got to go with Palutena. Right. So you would think he would try to do one that doesn't uh, favor aerials as much if he's going to pick a ground-based character. I don't know if he will or not. But, yeah, I do happen to know Will tends to like Sora. Sora's very floaty, so he may want a stage that has a lot of, you know, favors aerials too, something with a lot right. of platforms. So we'll see. Oh, go with old school Sora. <laughs> yep. Like we're watching an old <coughs> cartoon. Oh, and... I don't know actually falls off the map. No, no, that, that was intentional. He oh, lost intentional. his stocks oh, okay. in the last one. Yeah, uh, so for I those see. of you that have never seen Stock Battle before, uh, that's actually, he has to start with one stock. And so he, now he has one stock to try to take out and the taunt to let him know that they're ready, and there they go. All right. All right. 
right. Really punishing Sora with that neutral air, and I don't blame him. It's a good no. neutral air. One of, one of Palutena's best moves. As long as he can right. land him. Aerial kick. All right, nice get off move by Sora there, Indeed. using the side B, and then following up with the up B. I forget what is the. Let's see. The up B is that Ars Arkham? I think that's Ars Arkham. Beats me. <laughs> yeah. I know. Cole, Cole's kind of new to this game. Oh which yeah. I understand. So. I played it on the Wii, but this is far beyond my pay grade. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Smash yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see you later in the week, or uh, later next week with uh, CSGO right. and Rocket League. Oh yeah, for sure. Alright, so that is one more stock down, so uh, despite starting out with only one stock, um, Andrew does at the very least get one stock away from Will in this matchup. Oh, can you get the save? Yep. So blue team, of course, favored in this, and, and they're showing why. They're already down a, a whole two stocks, but definitely not a hole that they couldn't get out of. Like, it's, it's still very much possible to win this. Oh. Man. You know, that Thundaga can really get somebody's goat, but you can <laughs> see Andrew getting the better of, of Sora with the, uh, the counter. And, you know, Sora has a counter himself. He's just he's not using it as effectively. No, he's not. And there they go. The high launch. Oh, Ooh. man. See, the, that's one of the things I love about Sora is that his aerials actually have that combo. So, like, if you catch somebody with that first move, it's an automatic You're done. <laughs> like, repeat. And, uh, obviously, lots of characters have aerial combos, but his is, like, basically automatic, so. Gotcha really helps to have that. All right, so now that Andrew is out, let's see who the blue team calls up to answer that. It looks like Charlie's going to be switching out with sure. his younger brother, Andrew, so the brothers greet representing the blue team. Let's see. Is Will going to ban a stage here? Doesn't look like it. So I wonder what stage they're going to go to. It looks like Pokemon Stadium. Oh, oh, no. No. Big battlefield. Big here. battlefield. Here we go. Ooh. Oh, wait. No. Ah, uh, Back. Go on now. <laughs> All right, so they haven't decided yet. No. Nope. So Will won the last one, which means that Andrew yes. will get to pick um, stage and, and be able to pick... Uh, He'll, he'll be able to pick his character first. Right. Got gotcha. you. So, we'll see yeah, how It looks that like goes. we got Small Battlefield. But we're doing Small Battlefield. All right. Indeed. I love Small Battlefield because I hate that top platform. Right. <laughs> I don't like aerials. My favorite field is Final Destination. Totally yeah. ground. Final yep. Destination, no <laughs> idea. That's, I can live there. All right, so Sora. Versus. And, uh, I just noticed that Bethany Davis, who did our WSFA ex, uh, 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 report the other day where they came there. Her name's still on there, so. <laughs> that's Bethany awesome. Davis now forever will have a profile <laughs> at Faulkner Esports. Alright, that's his stock that he lost. And here's and his. that's the second stock. Oh, See, he's not content to just kill himself. He wants to do it in style. <laughs> right. Alright, so there they are. Friendly taunt. Yep. Alright, and fighters go. are ready. Very iconic battle here. Cloud versus Sora. This is not the first game that they've Fought, they fought in Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2, so they have definitely met outside of the Smash universe. Nice. I love that aerial. That One of my nice. favorite aerials. That ooh, ooh. recovery move. Oh, Cloud has his... Nice! Oh. Caught him with the edge of it! Very cool. But can he maintain here? Yeah, that's going to be the question. You know, Sora has way more ranged options than Cloud does, but so far, Cloud's actually making a decent use of his one ranged attack. So. Right, yep. Nice combo there. And the thing about Cloud is, he is kind of hard to launch, but man, his recovery is just not good, and we're seeing that right yep, here. Yeah, indeed. Commentators curse as soon as I said it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Got smacked around there a little bit. 
There you go. Nice, nice. Dodging the Thundaga. You know, that Thundaga, it's quote-unquote easy to dodge. It, it's harder than it looks. That's uh, intimidating, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but if you do get caught in it, like, you are going for a ride. That does a lot of damage and has a, a decent amount of knockback. Ooh, ooh. All right, Sora getting really heavy on the damage now. He's a floaty character, so he can survive quite a bit. But if he gets sm if, he, if he gets thumped hard enough, he's done. <laughs> right, you you will feel it. Oh, oh. with the cross slash <laughs> with the limit break, nice. Performed very nicely there with Cloud. Yeah. So, Square Next character beating up Square Next character. It's always fun. Yep. So, let's see where they go next. Uh, who's going to be tagging in? Is that is that KP that's going to be jumping in? Uh, looks let's like see. it. Who is the white team going to get to jump in? Looks like it's going to be KP. KP. All right. So now he's a Bowser main. Is he going to go with Bowser or is he going to go with somebody else? He has the prerogative. He can pick last. Oh, he and he goes pick. with. Mithra Pyra. Yeah. He's going with Emo Mithra Pyra. <laughs> the dark one. Of course, Cloud's pretty emo himself, so. Right. Right. All right, so starting out with Pyra. Or no, Mithra. That's Mithra. Yep. See, it's hard to tell when they do the skin where their colors are different. Like, they basically look like the same character with that skin. All right, so the battle has begun. Cloud still has two. A bunch of dodging here. Yeah. Oh, there it is. So, the white team still a disadvantage. They still have a couple of stocks on the others. Oh. Now, it's interesting because typically what you see with Mithra Pyra characters is they'll play... Pyra, or they'll play Mithra early, like when they're at low damage. Oh, well, there is no pausing in official play. And we got an illegal pause here. Is it not moving? I have some technical difficulties uh -oh. here. All right, so it looks like we're having a technical here. Um, KP, I guess we'll just reset and... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Switch controllers. We do have the white controller there, don't we? Some intense gameplay. <laughs> All right, this is super exciting. Uh, I, I say we leave that up to KP. All right, sounds like they're going to be okay with keeping it as is, so we're going to continue the match. Very interesting. Yeah, luckily this is an unofficial match, because that, that could have resulted in a forfeit had it not, yep. not been. That's weird. I was using that same controller earlier, and it was fine. But Oh, well. That is bizarre. And All right, well, it looks like we're back into it now. Um, I was going to say it was it's a bit bizarre, though, because typically you see um, low damage. They go with uh, Mithra, which, of course, now he switched to. But earlier he was going with Pyro, which, I mean, can deal out the damage. But no. usually that's not what <laughs> the strategy. Nice! Seems to just Man, get that, under uh, there. Yeah, that neutral A, like, that is nasty with, with Cloud if you Very know how nasty. to use it. I play Cloud a little bit myself, so. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Is able to get back. Yeah, which uh, is not easy to do as Cloud. No. Ah, oh, man, wasted the limit break. That's Indeed. unfortunate. Oh, nice dodge on the grab. That one catches Pyra in a cross slash. Good use of the down air to keep Pyra off of him. KP trying to go for the approach underneath the platform and winds up actually doing a pretty... Makes it bad. Substantial. Oh, man! Counters. Not bad. 
See, I can't be impartial here. <laughs> no. I talk like as if they're in training right now. But. Alright. Oh! Ooh. Off the side! Grand slam right there. Yep. But Andrew's still doing well, still has a stock left. Um, still taking a stock already, so. He's only got one left. Can he at least. Because, I mean. Mithra is at very high damage. Can he at the very least take another stock before he gets knocked out? He's got to be careful. I mean, he's already ahead, so if he can do that, that does put his team in a pretty good position. Indeed. Yeah, the Pyra can deal damage pretty quickly, though, so... I hate that recovery. <laughs> <laughs> and waste the limit break, oh, but it doesn't matter. Gets the gets neutral air. Sent. And... Uses that invincibility window to charge. Oh, but gets a <laughs> Yeah, Cloud just can't. Like, Hate to can't see recover. it. All right, so Pyra takes that one, but you know, still, you got White Team at a disadvantage, and now Pyra's down to the final stock. So Indeed. whoever the uh, uh, Blue team is on their next to last competitor because we've only seen two from blue. Right. So they still have six stocks left where uh, the white team has four. So still ahead mm -hmm. by two. So who do we have tagging in? We against have. KP. Looks like it's going to be Ian. So Ian McFarlane tagging in. Let's see who he's going to go with. Now, Ian's a guy that likes the speed character. So it'll be interesting to see how he counters the speed of Mithra on this one. Oh, going to go with Greninja, which is typically his main. Mm -hmm. Have you watched him play much, Cole? I don't think I have. Okay. I've never seen this character before. You've never seen Greninja? Well, then you probably haven't seen him play. No. <laughs> he tends to use him a lot. I see. All right, so KP's friendly there. And then a brilliant death, just swan diving <laughs> right off the edge of the map. All right. And wait for the taunt. There There's you go. There's the taunt. And the match can start. Anime boy fist pumping there in the background. <laughs> I tried to get into Xenoblade Chronicles, but I couldn't. I just, it just wasn't my thing. So I don't I don't know the characters past the first one. Whew. Luckily, Ninja has a... Oh, and uses the substitution. Ooh. I do like the Metro music. Not bad. It's nice to Picks it up. have that in there with... Uh, Battlefield. You know, right now, Greninja's getting smacked around a little bit, but he's uh, he's got such good recovery. He doesn't seem to be a oh. oh, I say that. Yeah, it says it again. Commentator's <laughs> curse. Yep. I told you it's commentator's curse. <laughs> I mean, Greninja just kind of excels at slipping around and dodging and sprinting and staying out of danger. You know, we'll see if that trend continues. Oh, with the water shuriken. And switches to Pyra and immediately gets smacked. But makes the recovery. So that's the thing about the Shadow Sneak is if you can really catch somebody with that, but you have to be careful not to telegraph too much. Indeed. Also, he kind of got played by his own substitute there. His uh, water shuriken winds up hitting his own... Doll. Oh, and there it goes. There it is. Greninja is able to lose only one stock, taking down KP, so blue team still ahead by two. They are down to their final fighter. Oh, actually, I say that, but I believe we're actually throwing in alt since this is an unofficial match, so I believe we'll actually have five. Might as well. Yeah. Get I mean, why not? Give everybody a chance to yeah. play. <laughs> I mean, it's more Smash Bros. You're going to complain about more Smash Bros. No, I'm not. <laughs> Me either. Yeah, looks like we're going to have... So, who is going to go up against against Ian? It looks like Ethan, Ethan Dixon is tagging in. 
So that'll be fun. What stage are they going to be using? Battlefield. Yeah. Nope. We have so, Ethan named himself Ethan in the game, which shows a lot of creativity. Indeed. Goes with Rob here. Yeah. The robotic operating buddy. Now, this is one of the old characters from the previous Super Smash Bros. that I've recognized here. Right. He, he made his debut in uh, Brawl because he was really important in Subspace Emissary. So, there goes Ian's stock. And the taunts. We are good to go. Oh, almost almost attacked during a taunt. That would have been <laughs> that'd have been a bad move. Of course you are only supposed to taunt once, so right. like, it would have been legal, but still it's not the It's kinda one of those like bro code things, you don't right. you don't attack Definitely. during a taunt. Yep. Unless they were like you know, doing it after every counter. <laughs> well, that or if they did it like right after they they killed you and exactly. they were, like showing off and like dissing you, then you definitely. Oh, for do sure. It. For then sure. it's actually like a broken violation if you don't smack them. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so. All right, oh so, man. Yeah, Rob. Actually able to to do okay with him against uh, against Greninja in the air, which is not an easy thing to do. Greninja has a lot of weapons in the air. Uh, of course, Rob has good recovery, but his aerials aren't necessarily uh, stellar. Although I will say his down air is pretty good, um, and I think his neutral air has the like arm waving thing. That one's, which doesn't sound like much, but it is actually a pretty good move. Uh, Rob with the down <laughs> throw, Lord. down throw, comboing into the up air. Or, is that up air or neutral air? I'd have to look it up. Okay. I'll play it. <laughs> I'm a young link player. And there he goes. And makes it back. Nope. Misses. U yeah, use it. Wastes right his back. laser there. It's gonna take him time to charge his batteries up again for that one. There it is. I forget what what batteries did Rob take? Was that double A? I want to say triple A. <laughs> no, it wasn't triple A. No, it wasn't triple A. It was either double A or C. W weren't uh, a lot of li oh. like lithium batteries back then. Nice on the, the back end. Indeed. Kind of caught him off guard. I will say, if we're talking about the platform game, I would give the edge to Greninja, but Rob's platform game is, is actually not bad either, so, you know, almost a wash on that. Oh, man. Right. Greninja getting Gotta in. watch out here. Yep. Oh, and with the Shadow Sneak, very nice. And a Water Shuriken. You and misses the laser. the laser. Yeah. So that's the thing about Greninja. It does take him a while to build up damage, but man, he can just sort of like nickel and dime you out of existence. All right. With those small attacks. All right. So trying to establish a pattern here. Oh, and tried to counter, but didn't didn't connect. All right. It does a grab and a down throw, and oh. an up a. Up air. Can he get it? I don't know. Rob's a pretty high damage. Like, if, if Rob winds up getting the kill here, it'll be a big deal for his team. Because um, he, he wants to go into the next one with uh, no damage and, and doing that whole oh, race of sure. damage in the next round. Could Ooh, not nope. get it. Could, couldn't, couldn't seal the deal. Level playing field here. Yep. Hopefully he can uh, not, see now it's kind of the opposite. Like is Ian going to knock him out and get a fresh stock, or will he throw it? <laughs> we'll find out. Let's watch. <laughs> it's like a old timey sports announcer. Yeah. <laughs> right well, let's find out, gang. <laughs> Just watch and see. It will. Oh. All right, the, the down air there. Greninja is still with a strong recovery game. Let's gotta watch out here. Getting a few. Slowly getting banged back. Alright, it's got the bounce. 
jumps right there. Oh. Oh, with the side, but yeah, that's not going to kill Greninja. No, it no. Close, no. Nope. Ooh, close. Almost. Had to use Waterfall to get back. Actually, not a bad recovery, considering like how he landed and, and gave himself a good position there. Got it's... the grab and the throw. I'm actually surprised he didn't use back throw. That's a much much stronger... Well, I guess his position, it wouldn't matter. But... Oh, oh, gets, him gets the, the laser. Yep. Yeah. Look into my eyes. <laughs> the one out of ten laser right there. All right, so now that well, is... So now they're down to their last fighter. Right. It was a good match. It was. Let's see where they go next. It looks like we're going to see Battlefield. And... Who do we have in? Is that Jared that tagged in? Jared. Okay. He's going yeah, with we got, Captain Falcon. We got Jared tagging in. I do like the, the dark blue Rob. It goes nice well with the Faulkner colors. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I didn't think about that, but that's true. Actually, with the dark blue and light blue, um, almost a little bit, like you could say Faulkner, but it also reminds me a little bit of like the Tampa Bay Rays. It kind of does. Yeah. Bye, Rob. <laughs> Hope you find your dad. <laughs> there he goes again. A little, All right, now this a little is... neutral air to add some flavor. Cap and Rob flaunt, uh, flaunting their taunts there. I was trying to say taunt, but I said flaunt because my <laughs> brain doesn't work. So far, Rob, no damage. Lots of rolling and dodging. Oh, there we go. There it is. Dealing more. If he can play this Not, right. I, I really thought that Captain Falcon was going to come down with the advantage there, but Rob I did too. beats him to the damage. I will say the, uh, what is this, the WarioWare music in the background makes it far <laughs> more ominous, like something terrible is about to happen. Yep. Oh, man. It wasn't a terrible recovery, but because he wasn't able to get the ledge grab, you see Rob really taking advantage of knowing exactly where he's going to land. Indeed. But it looks like Captain Falcon started to gain the upper hand um, with the, the hug of doom. <laughs> Jump up, hug him, and then they explode. Yeah, it's cool. I wish I had explosive hugs. Right? No. <laughs> it was like free hug, wear one of those shirts, free hugs, and then explode. <laughs> I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> the cartoon violence version. All like right. Actual that, explosions. It's a little bit Gosh, more comforting. <laughs> it's a little word there for you. You know you can't take me seriously. How long have you known me? Uh, two weeks. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, you should know by now. Here we go. Can he finish this quick? I don't know. Gets the laser off. Captain Falcon's fast. Like, all he has to do is uh, just avoid any big attacks. And there Ooh, he goes. There it Falcon is. Falcon kick. Nice. Explosive hugs, explosive kicks. Very close match. All right, now it looks like we got Caleb Ote tagging in for the white team. He is the the team captain for the white team. Indeed. Um, Seth, of course, being the captain for the Smash team overall, but Caleb uh, kind of acting as the anchor for this last matchup. This ought to be good. We'll see how far Caleb's come in the past couple of weeks. Indeed. Jared over there flexing. <laughs> it's like, Jared, you, you know that this is a... a Esports match. <laughs> the muscles can't save you now. Oh, in, uh, in chapel this morning when President Henry was uh, announcing, he's like, "All right, everybody, let's see those thumbs." <laughs> that was funny. Yeah. Uh, I love that about President Henry. He has a good time with things. Yes, he you managed to throw in a joke every now and then. Yeah, you and, can tell uh, he likes his job. Yep, he does. Maybe too much. <laughs> no, so. I'm just kidding. And we're going with he's going with pink Greninja. Yeah. Breast cancer awareness Greninja. I will say I'm I'm a little surprised that we're seeing Caleb play as Greninja. I mean I've seen him play as Greninja before, but 
considering he has a, a teammate. Or, well, no, Ian's on blue, so. All right. All right, and we are off to the races, which is appropriate considering how fast these two characters are. You're going to see a lot of dodging, a lot of uh, aerials from these two. Missing. Like, <laughs> yeah, a lot of that, too. Yeah. M many misses. Oh, it's not like a Super Smash Brothers melee match where, like, that is true. the first 15 minutes yeah. just wave dashing with zero damage. I mean, I know a lot of people love melee, and I, I like watching it too, but. Oh no! A self destruct! Hate to see it. And his team cannot afford to self destruct. No, not at all. They're down to their last stock. Now, if Caleb plays this nicely, he can get a full three right here. Yeah, he could he could uh, no stock him. Shadow Sneak misses, dodges out of the way with a grab. Uh, love that multiple hit. I guess it's because it reminds me of Young Link, that multiple hit neutral A. Right. So, I've always liked Greninja's neutral A. Indeed. He does it without a sword, though, which is less cool. Nice little kick there. It's actually, it's kind of hard to do commentary on this match effectively because of how fast everything is moving. Like by know. the time you're about to make a comment, they've already started on doing something else. You gotta have those skills. Oh, of, uh, with oh. the side, the side kunai. Yep. Water kunai for the win. All right, so round one goes to blue team. So let's see how they adjust in the next round. Like, are they going to go with a different right. uh, rotation? Are they going to go with different characters? We'll see. Do I know? Right, but that round is over, isn't it? Like, didn't blue team? No. I thought there were. Didn't he knock out five people? We have oh, six players. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Seth just told me that we have six people, so. All right. Oh. All right. More the merrier. No, no, I was talking about on white team though. Yeah. Okay. Can you tell this is our first round? <laughs> so, yeah, and I can update y'all exactly everything I need. All right, we got you, Seth. My bad. We'll do no, what we good. can. <laughs> All right, so the match continues on. Ignore the uh, ignorance of the commentator. Indeed. And we got Greninja. Greninja again with and shirtless Sephiroth. <laughs> yeah. With some luxurious hair there. Uh, little, how much hairdo hair do, do you need to hold that up? I don't know, but Swing so far. Swinging a sword. <laughs> See, the hair is what gives him his power. Oh, yeah, for yeah, sure. People think it's the wing, it's the hair. He followed after Samson, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> right. You cut Sephiroth's hair, he loses all his strength. You can tell we're a Christian college, working in some Bible references yep. in the Smash commentary. Nice with the down aerial. And got the darkness bombs. I don't know what they're actually called. I call them darkness bombs. See, that's one thing that I didn't like about them getting rid of trophies and the descriptions that went with them. Is they used to have like official names for the attacks. You can find those out like going into their menu, but I don't know, it's just not as much fun as it was when I've probably read every trophy on Melee and Brawl several times, and the fact that there's no trophies in this one just makes me a little sad. I hate that they took away the trophies. Yeah, so Sephiroth's really trying to land a hit with that side B, but not really able to, to do that. No, timing a little bit off. Yeah. Hopefully he didn't catch on to that. You know, I've not seen Brandon play Sephiroth before. Um, I'm kind of surprised that he went with it. Oh, got the wing out. Makes him significantly more dangerous, so we'll see if he can get the kill right here. Oh. Back to back here. Uh, Seth and Matthias, when they used to, to play just casual matches with me, and right after Sephiroth came out, we called his down air, down air. <laughs> nice. So for the Final Fantasy fans and the... 
in the audience, that's just a little treat for you. Well, I don't know if it's a treat, but at least you get the reference. Yeah, it might drive him crazy. Oh, and there we go. Yeah, I mean, that was that was a big moment in video games. You didn't have a lot of JRPGs where a main character died, like, in the middle of the game. Right? No, not at all. Uh, especially your healer, because, like, I was... I remember when that happened to me, I was like, well, shoot, now who's going to heal me? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, it was a big deal. I had to figure out somebody else to be my healer. How am I supposed to run and gun? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Aerith's gone. We're all going to die. We don't stand a chance now. All right, so Caleb really sort of winning the, the hit-and-run game. You can see him kind of right. using these uh, back-and-forth tactics, sort of a guerrilla warfare uh, sort of approach to it. Trish trying to get that damage count high before he goes in for the kill, and so far it's right. working for him pretty well. And you kind of have to with uh, Greninja. That's his right, that's overall his, play style. Absolutely, that's his strategy. Trying to like just slowly build that damage gauge until it's time to pop him. Or you can try to get some early kills with Greninja as well, because aerials are that so is good. True. But those opportunities don't always present themselves, so. Ooh. Oh, with the shadow sneak too. Out of nowhere. Oh, for man. <laughs> there goes that song. And we got right, so we're even down to playing field. Yes, we do. Well, I mean, Luke is still three ahead. But that is true. Yeah, yeah. But, but he can change. Right, change this, that a little bit here. Yeah. So in this match, it's even. So, what you're seeing there, Brandon getting a little bit repetitive with the down A, like, oh, too I much. mean, don't get me wrong, I I understand it's a great move, and if I were a Sephiroth player, I'd be using it frequently too, but it's getting a little too predictable. It oh, is. And there it a little goes. too predictable right there. On the edge. Oh yeah, this is a captain versus captain match. The main event we've all been waiting for. As they drop controllers. Yep, well, that's part <laughs> of the By the game time too. we're done, we'll have no controllers to play with. Yes, it's very sad. Mm. Uh, I don't know about you, but I probably went through a dozen controllers. In, oh, yeah, for sure. You know, have to. On Melee. I don't think you're truly gaming if you don't go through controllers. Right, exactly. And it wasn't like that I raged through anything. It was just like wear and tear. Yep. I, I only ever broke one controller. Uh, with a rage quit, and it was an Xbox 360 controller. Nice. <laughs> and it, what game was that on? That was uh, Spider-Man: Shattered Dimensions. Really? Yeah, I, was, I was not happy with it. All the more. <laughs> Very angry. It was, it was in the the Mysterio battle too, the uh, final boss. That. Well, here's the thing. I will get frustrated with the game. Uh, if it's a game design that causes me to lose. Like, if it's my own inadequacy, I'm okay with that. Right. Like, I, I can't help that I'm not better than I am. But if it's, like, an actual design flaw in the game where there's something in the game inherent that makes it unfair, that I get very upset about. Oh, yeah. Always. All right, and that's one stock for Caleb. And one more. And here we go. And the taunts. The taunts. And we're ready to roll. All right, so first blood, Caleb gets it. So can Caleb pull this off? He'll have to take Seth, the best player on blue team, three times before he kills him <laughs> once. So yeah. it ain't looking good, but it can still be. It is possible. Yes, it is possible. <laughs> So you're saying there's a chance. There's a slight chance of a one out of a million, maybe? Yeah. Nah, I think he's uh, maybe like better odds than that, but, you know, Caleb's still a pretty good player himself. I've seen him I've seen him beat me and Seth, so. Yeah, same time. He, he can't, well, I've <laughs> never done that. Actually, no. uh, <laughs> earlier today, after we did the ceremony, Seth and I were actually, um, doing doubles against people just as like a casual game and right. we, we dominated I think we oh. won every match no wait we, we did lose one oh, okay. we, we won most of them and people would be like well isn't it unfair to have the coach and the captain on the same <laughs> yeah. team but what they don't understand is I'm garbage at multiplayer like I'm good at 1v1 but I'm not good at multiplayer alright so he does take one life before so 
you know, he's got 59 damage to yeah. work with. <laughs> Feels like there should be a maximum tomato right. somewhere. So you could, uh, you know, like if you've ever played like in story mode on Smash, if you're facing a big boss and they change forms, it'll give you a, a max tomato right. to heal 50% of your damage. Not gonna happen in this match. <laughs> no. Nope. So. Afraid not. We'll have to see where it goes. I love the soothing Yoshi music. Yeah. Ties in nice. Yeah. It's hard to be upset when you're listening to the soothing Yoshi. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> he, just, he just wall jumped to save his butt. That was awesome. Samus is one of the like I don't know maybe maybe six or seven characters in Smash that can wall jump. So lucky for him. Ooh. Whoa. Was able to get it. Yeah, he does it again. Nice. Of course, but he still ties has... in with the combo right as he gets out. Yep. All right. So how does he recover from this? Oh. Goes in and gets uh, Ooh. Stuff. All right. Returns the favor. Absolutely. He's gotten really good at aiming that neutral air. Actually, aside to the whole. Can he get it? Oh, he's got it. Can he get it? All right. Nope. Ah. Oh. Good ledge guard by Caleb. Good. Yep. See, I told you it was possible. It is. Can White, oh. can White actually upset We Boyd? are seeing history right. here, folks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He does it. He is at 89, 99 no, he's at 90, he's at 100. <laughs> Okay, he's at one, 111. I believe in you, Caleb. Must believe. It's like the miracle on ice. Okay, maybe it's not that big. The ice is very thin. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Nice. Good recovers there, Cole. Ooh. All right. I think probably his best bet now would be to try to juggle and then like get Indeed. an early kill with a maybe a, a down air. Very cautious here. Oh, he was able to avoid Seth's uh, ledge guard, which is not easy to do. I know I've it fallen not. victim to it several times. Gotta watch it here. Gotta watch for those mines. I like the shadow sneak to like get across the stage in a very quick manner. Ooh. All right, so are you back to back? These characters both have a lot of speed, a lot of projectiles, so it's really going to come down to the wire of like who can who can play the the, the keep away game better. Right. Oh, and he gets it, man! But what a match! Yeah, really. That was narrow. Seth yeah. definitely has to have at least some sweat rolling down his eye. <laughs> well, I mean, I know that eventually he did wind up losing, but you have to remember that he started that match with one life. That is true. So, like, the fact that he was able to come within an eyelash winning it, that was a heck of a match. So, I'm pretty satisfied with our first round of Smash here at Faulkner. Indeed. So, that's a victory for Blue Team. They have one in the column, so let's see if they can win the next one or if they have to go to a rubber match. Alright, so who is going to be first for blue and white this time? Wait, do we still have one more? Okay. We're well, just miscounting. See, this is here. why I, I need a scorekeeper. Because <laughs> Kelly's jumping in for the white team. Tell you what, though, that would have been a heck of a climactic like ending to the run. That would have been awesome if he clutched that. Yep. Yeah, Mushroom Kingdom. For a quick little look. Fountain of Dreams. Fountain of Dreams is a fun, fun. Looks stage. really nice. I like it. It's very chill. But we get a different map than Seattle. <laughs> it's gonna be rough. Yes, it's the default. I mean, it's kind of the standard for a reason. That it's is a good true. Field. Everyone likes it except me. Now, I'm a minority. Kelly runs with Game and Watch here, unless he changes his mind. Uh, he may go with Hero. I've seen him main, main Hero before. And here he is. Is he maining Hero? It looks like it. Hero. Oh yeah, going with Pirate Hero. Three, two, A pirate's life for me. 
that goes. So Seth has one stock. The taunts are in. And we're off to the races. And immediately hits him with a free sword. And very quickly, Samus is already at 50, well, close to 50% damage. So yeah, Hero is one of the trickier characters. I would say he's the trickiest character in the game. He can really surprise you with the variety of moves that he has. As we witness in front of our eyes right now. <laughs> right. So Samus with the grab and the side Man. there. Oh, nope, missed with the charge shot. It. That would have that would have probably been a kill. The full charge shot oh, that close sure. to the edge, yeah. You would be dead. Oh, and down he goes. Obliterate. So Seth is able to take at least one stock from the other team. They are down to their last two stocks. All he has to do is get rid of that last one. That's right. White team now holding on by the skin of their teeth. Alright, can Hero make it back? Hero has a pretty solid recovery. Oh, but can get side get sided again. Connected. <laughs> Seth, Seth is good at that aerial game. He just is. Like, there's no way around it. He's really good at, at you know, just ledge guarding people. He... What did we just witness, folks? So, <laughs> Hero. Hero has a move called Kamikaze, nice. which kills him. It does a ton of damage. But it's not a good idea when you're on your last stock. Not at all. Not played, um, well, at all. I don't, it wasn't even close to took, Seth. Really took it, yeah, like, there was no chance he was going to hit with No that. chance. But decided Absolutely to put no on chance. a show for, uh, Goodbye, the cruel world. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Not good. I'm stunned. Guess we know why he's an alt. <laughs> Dang, Cole! <laughs> Throwing some shade! It's not good at Kamikaze. Fight out the battle. We no, don't that's, more. I mean, you're not wrong, but... <laughs> no offense, but I was hoping for the, uh, to the death there, even though, uh, Well, it was, was to the death. It was just nicely. Kelly was the one doing the death. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, an interesting end to that last yeah. match. <laughs> out of nowhere. For sure. But hey. It is what it All is. Alright, so let's see who is, uh, who are they going to reset with? Because, let's see, if we've got six combatants at three apiece, right. that's math. Math is very, very hard, but that's, uh, let's see. Well, it was um, 18, that's 24 stocks total. Wow. So we're restarting with, um, yeah, 24 stocks, I, I believe. We're doing six. No, that's six times four. I'm sorry. I can't math. I told you that. Six times three is, would be 18, so yep. that's an 18 stock. And now everybody knows why I'm not an engineer. <laughs> I do words and theology. I don't. So we're kind of waiting for them to reset here. All right, a little bit so of halftime. Let's, yeah, it's, it's kind of like halftime. Uh, well, let's take the opportunity while they're waiting to reset to uh, just really thank um, all the people that were here to out here today to support us, especially our new sponsors, Regitar USA, who have uh, paid for all of this, the facilities, the equipment. So uh, we just, you know, would like to take a second here and say thank you to. Um, the Psy family, uh, YT and, and his wife and, and Henry and everybody that was coming out today. Uh, and also eFootprints who helped us out with that. So, you know, just really say a big thank you to them for everything that they did today and coming out. And it was a, a great opportunity to get to meet them and honor them. All right, so are we ready to roll? All right, who is competing? Is it Seth and Ethan? Yes. Seth and Ethan. All right, so Seth for the blue team, Ethan for the white. So... For a white team to win this, they have to eliminate all 18 stocks.
then do so again. Because they're down by a round. Oh, man. All right, so rock beats scissors. I sure hope so. <laughs> That's the rumor. Oh, okay. You remember there's the Seinfeld episode? I don't know. Are you a Seinfeld yeah, fan? Yeah, I'm yeah, a Seinfeld. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I love that. He's like, uh, so I thought paper beat rock. He's like, no, rock flies right through paper. <laughs> well, then what beats rock? Nothing beats rock. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So here we go. <laughs> got Seth. Will he pick Rob office. again? Well, you know, it's what he's comfortable with. Uh, he's doing a pro controller, so we're doing a oh. controller switch. Indeed. Going with Samus. And specifically the, uh, is that Other Rim? No, it's not the Other Rim skin. That's, um. Shoot, why can I not remember the name? It's the Game Boy Advance Metroid that that one's from. Oh, uh, Fusion. Metroid Fusion. Uh. I love the, the Fusion colors, though. That's one of Samus' cooler skins, in my opinion. And then Rob with the uh, plain... Plain early. white. Yep. I like to say it, the Wii. <laughs> <laughs> right, the Wii. The, it's, it's Wii white. It's the Transformer Wii. <laughs> Oh, the Wii time is one of the most interesting consoles because it was very feast or famine. There were a lot of great games. There were a lot of terrible <laughs> games. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there was. All right, well, with the uh, oh, instant the knockout. Platform. Yeah. So Samus is still at 54 damage. So yeah, it has, it's been dominating so far, but still doing a decent amount, or still taking a decent amount of damage. Indeed. Um, already in the danger zone here in second stock, so... Good tone, good tone. Yep. Both of these characters do have a tendency to kind of overwhelm their opponents, too, because there's such a variety in the group set. So right. what you will see often is that yeah. those characters will kind of... Um, like just throw a hundred different things at their opponent and try to get them, knock them off balance. I do hate that that side B like actually reflects projectiles. That always annoyed me. But you know, it's because I'm a young player. I use a lot of projectiles. <laughs> All right, so here he goes. Neutral air, nice. Comes in. The platforms can really interrupt a player's flow and their combos if they're not careful. And it looks like that's what happened right there. Is that Ethan was oh, and times up the laser perfectly. Yeah, tried to use the gyro there. And wasn't able to get him off the cliff there. Cool. Backfires too. Man, this is incredible. I can't believe Seth's already at 160 light. If he winds up three stocking, that's oh, going to be embarrassing. And that would be great for him because remember he even reset. And there it is. Okay, so he it is now off the list. <laughs> so he has at the very least uh, taken one stock, which is going to be a good thing for his team, especially since Seth is blue team's strongest player. So he has at least taken one stock. Now, you know, obviously, if, if that's what it's going to take, is then you may have a situation where White finds themselves in a hole they just can't dig out of. So we will see how that goes. All right, uses the reflect there on the side B. This is the laser. Uses the gyro. Gyro. Gyro is the way to count. Yeah, sure. Oh, oh, man. Man, if he had been anywhere closer, like any different spot on the stage, that would have <laughs> You've been done. Yeah. Rob has pretty strong recovery, but he wouldn't come back from that. No, not at all. Oh, oh and, and the there it throw. is. I love the up throw, and like it, it's, just so, it's so intimidating. Same Indeed. up throw because it grabs you with the cannon and just like Lift explosion. <laughs> Alright, so who are they going to get to jump in next to replace Ethan? Ethan did get a stock though, so Seth. He did. Yeah, he Seth was managed going to, to pull it off. With two stocks. Oh, it looks like we're going to have a rematch Seth versus Caleb. Caleb Ote, not me. For me, I would win. 
<laughs> yep, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm, you're the coach. I'm, I'm not, I'm not dissing, dissing Caleb. Like, Seth's actually a better player than me, but if he's down by, like, if he starts out with two stocks, I feel pretty good about my chances. Yeah, that's you. Now, I say that the next time he's going to, because he hears this, he's going to challenge me with two stocks and probably whoop me. So, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Alabastion, it is a legal stage. They can do it. Indeed. I like it. I like it a lot. So it's going to be Samus versus who is Caleb going to go with? You know, Caleb has a pretty wide library. Um, he will play a lot of different characters. I, I've seen him. He Sometimes he'll just play on random, like just for fun. Okay, going with Sheik. Sheik. So what the strategy may be here then is Samus is a very agile character, very good with aerials, a lot of speed. Sheik has all of that, but is a better version of it. Now, Sheik uh, doesn't have nearly the range power, um, doesn't have nearly the smash power, but his strategy may be to just overwhelm with raw speed. Right. And, uh, you know, just being able to, especially since... Um, yes, I was about to say, Seth forgot to... Alright. Uh, you can either restart, or Caleb could just, like... Uh, pound on you until you have 26 <laughs> percent all right so all we right. had a little little error there Seth forgot that um, he had to give up a stock okay that that was not a word that was not that was that was like listening to a Joe Biden <laughs> it's like, that's just, uh, just, uh, corn pop right? <laughs> oh, man. that was good stuff it was <laughs> Samus. And there we go. And taunting. Don't know why Sheik's taunt is playing against Cradle, but whatever. Who knows? And the silver spade. Uh huh. And there she goes. Okay, Samus with a good combo, full, uh, followed by a forward air. Able to get. Trying to get that charge shot up. Again, so I think what um, I think actually though, though Sheik may have been the right call here. It's going to be very often that Sheik is not great for crew battles, just because her nature is she tends to have trouble actually making the kill, and so she gets a lot of damage but has issues taking stocks and in a crew battle where damage is reset after a round if you save your stock, I think that Sheik is going to be overall less effective in crew battles. Uh, just kind of puts her at a natural disadvantage. Right. Um, I think that, you know, with being a stock down already, this may have been the smartest move by Caleb. He's trying to save as many stocks as he can while taking as many as he can from Samus. Uh, so that may have been it. He was actually faring a little bit better in the last round, already losing the stock. Uh, but the last fight against Seth, he started with only one stock left and very nearly wound up winning that one. So, uh, maybe he should have stuck with Greninja. Alright, so good shield there, but then Seth counters with a grab. So, the shield saved him the first time, didn't save him the second time. Seth correctly read that he was going to try that again. And so... Actually, a good read there as Caleb does go into shield and Seth tries to grab, but uh, the successful, like, just being out of range and then the, the second attempt followed by the dodge, not able to make that connection. You can tell Seth is really trying to end this quickly because he wants to save as many stocks as possible, and if he knows that he can take out the team captain, that puts his team in a much better position to actually finish the round quickly. But, you know, Caleb Indeed. is a good player. He's given him some trouble. For sure. This is a match. Do you know that in his tryouts, this is a fun little uh, factoid, because the for whatever reason the internet wasn't working, and so I had to conduct a lot of the tryouts myself, like I just had to play them in Smash. Caleb, 
is the only person that beat me in all three rounds of play. Wow. The only one. Wow. Um, doesn't necessarily mean he's the best player. No. And I have beat him, like, we've played a lot of rounds since then. I have beat him since then. But, you know, for whatever reason, in those three rounds, like, that's just a testament to how good he is and how, how clean he is. He beat me in all three rounds. That is saying something as we see the one on one here with Stocks. Yes, uh, doing a really good job getting set down to just one stock. Um, so now they're basically even, and if Caleb can take Seth out here, that is going to be very big for his team. I think it was the right call to put Caleb up against Seth on this round, even though it's kind of bringing it back out early. Um, I think it was a smart move because he knows that he needs to be. Uh, it, would, it would just be smarter than letting Seth take too many stops from other, right. other characters. So I think that like, throwing Caleb in the counter is a good especially since Caleb is the player that has the most success in the set when they play in practice. See, that's one thing that you're not going to see in competition. These players know each other very well, and so their character selection and their uh, selection of who they're going to have go up next in the crew battle, that can actually be far more effective here because they're so familiar with the Oh, and Seth getting the knockout right there. That was a good run. Yeah, that was. Excellent. Run. Seth was eventually able to, to come up with the win, though. So he has only lost one stock against Sheik and gets his damage reset. So that's going to be very, very big for his team. Very big. We're gonna so let's see. see, who do they counter him with? Who is going to step up for white team? It's going to have to be somebody who knows not the kamikaze. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Throwing some shade over there, Cole. Yeah, I was playing. <laughs> yep. You should go that up and then Kamikaze work. immediately yeah, that would work. and knock some out. <laughs> but it looks like we're going to have... Are they actually putting Kelly in? Okay. <laughs> I was going to say Kamikaze might have been... A, that would have been a really hilarious way to take that stock. That would have been... Probably the highlight of tonight. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> We're gonna see KP here. So KP's jumping team. in. Is KP oh, gonna Bowser. go? Let's see. Is he gonna go Bowser? Like who is he going to take? Honestly, if I were KP. And this is just me, like, maybe overthinking it, but if I were KP, I would not want to go uh, Bowser in this round. And the reason that I say that is because they practice so much together, like Seth not only knows how to play Bowser with Samus, he knows specifically how to play KP's Bowser with Samus. So I would actually try to keep him Avoid, off his game. Yeah. yeah. I think Mithra Pyre is a better choice because Seth has definitely played him with Mithra Pyre, but not as often. So I think this is actually a better selection by KP. Let's see if it pays off for him. Three, two, one, go! Yeah, Seth. <laughs> so, I actually love the fact that we're doing this before an actual oh, official yes. match. Because hopefully what this does is it gives us a chance to work out, like iron out some of these, oh, yeah. these sprinkles. Indeed. Because some of the kinks that we're going to have with early... I I've actually seen several teams like their first smash down have similar problems and I understand why like it makes sense so the fact that they're kind of parsing down here um, and getting some of the rough edges smoothed out early on in these practice rounds I think is really important especially because we're going to be playing a lot of these games with more tournaments with these things so and there goes Seth with some stocks yep. now Taunts. Okay, so he has to get rid of his charge shot there. And the taunts. Very nice. Alright. Good use of the side air. See, now, that's one thing that Seth does that is really smart that I just don't have enough skill with Samus to do I feel really practiced with her. Uh, what he'll do is, like, sometimes if he does a ledge guard, he'll actually do a down beat, drop a bomb on the ledge, so he'll not to, like, try to ledge guard him. 
before the very least, they do try to the ledge guard. Yeah. Right. They may ledge guard him, but they're gonna take some damage. Indeed. So there we see a launch and an aerial, so we see is that good for a pirate kill? That's different. Oh, I can't tell. Actually, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Cole's like, yeah, totally that's right. Yeah, it's totally that. See, Cole, <laughs> when, you, when you do something like that, you don't tell on yourself. You just make everybody think that. You that is true. I, you know, I'll, I'll eventually learn that as we go on through the season. Like advice with Caleb Walker. Indeed. <laughs> that's a new uh, <laughs> uh, podcast. Right, new yeah. podcast. <laughs> Terrible life advice. Every Saturday evening, join us for the. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's like, eat more bacon. Yeah. I mean, you might as well. You're going to die. Might as well put sleep. sriracha on your bacon. <laughs> That's <well>. right. <laughs> we had some sriracha bacon at the reception earlier, and I probably ate more than that. Oh, man. But, yeah. All right, so it looks like really KP feeling the damage here. Indeed. And it's because Mithra does have quite a few ranged attacks, but wasn't able to execute them. And Sam is just kind of zoning her out and being able to uh, take away a lot of that. And with the neutral air there, dropping the uh, down B bomb, and then just sort of generally being able to control the field of battle. Seth really doing some damage to Mr. Pyro. And Sam is, I mean, really hasn't taken much damage so far. Oh, catches the edge there. Almost got stuck underneath. Almost. But almost is not, you know, quite the percent. Oh, oh, and gets... Man. I wasn't able to get it. The, the Incineroar recovery. One of the worst recoveries in the game. Feel for him. KP did the best he did in a bad situation. He tried to recover. He just couldn't quite make it back. No. But let's see who they're going to pick next. Now, uh, Seth is on a streak right now. A little bit, yeah. Seth's taking down several fighters by himself. He's taking names. Hey, Seth, remember to, you know, take your stocks. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I hope so. <laughs> Here we go. We'll have a forfeit. We're, we're admonishing you because we love you. Admonish. <laughs> All right, so Kelly's going to take this one. The strategy might actually be to Kamikaze, I don't know. No. <laughs> if he does, though, he's going to have to do so near the opponent. A lot more strategic, may I say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly is just, he's not abused by the commentary. We will never forget it, Kelly. <laughs> you know, this, is, this is a little bit brutal, uh, because like in a, a traditional sports game, like if you're, if you're more traditional sports like football or, or baseball, whatever, Indeed. you don't hear the commentators. No, this is very brutal. <laughs> we're we're very kind of on top of each other in here. You got this, Kelly? Yeah. It's all in good fun, though. Like, Indeed. We, we, we all know that uh, Kelly can definitely hold his own if he just doesn't blow himself up. In the no. <laughs> but you know, that is a real risk. That is a risk. It happens. And he's going to go with Hero again. Well, we might see it again, folks. We might so see another pull out your cameras Three, and get two, ready for the show. One, go. All right, so we were starting a betting pool to over under on whether or not we will see a Kamikaze this round. And the stocks are gone. And the taunt. All right, here we go. The salute. Neutral air. And, ooh, almost Very did not powerful shot. It. So that was next to boot. So not, it doesn't kill you. Like, <laughs> like Kamikaze does. But it's also not strong. It is funny watching Samus fire that in the air and like just go off the side. I love when they're doing the little thing. Right. It's a nice little touch. Oh, man. Also, a very nostalgic soundtrack here. Oh! 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 Out of nowhere, Gets folks. Gets him with an arrow. Nice. I guess he built up that anger <laughs> from the commentator. Yeah, he, he built up his uh, 
Um, I believe the name of that spell is Arrow. Um, builds it up and then saves himself while simultaneously like redeems him himself. Off the bottom. <laughs> yeah. yeah, very nice, very nice. Unbelievable. Now he's got to take on Charlie. Charlie. I agree. Mind you, Kelly had full stocks as well. That's right. So he he gets three. This is going to be a three v three. Now we should also mention that White is down by two more fighters. So this but is still, true. Like the this fact that he was true. able to take down Seth with low damage in a in a spectacular this, way. That is this is why Smash is fun. Yeah. Stuff like this that could happens. be the turning point for the White team. Could be if played well. Let's see Falker's White team make a comeback here. Go! And we're going to see Palatina versus. I really thought, honestly, that Andrew was going to play Joker because he's, he's been recently like picking up Joker, and I thought he might want to play him. But now he sticks with his uh, main Palatina. Ice sword, a little bit wasted. Would have Andy Kamikazes, but it doesn't kill him. Nope. I don't know why he kamikaze again. A little too early in the game. A little bit. In my opinion. Well, I'm with you. I maybe would have waited unless uh, he was a little bit forward towards death. Right. A right. little bit closer. Oh! And does not get the cliff. Well, that teleport, um, you have to aim it. And I it see. looks like you should have aimed up just a, a little, little bit, bit to catch that ledge. Unfortunately, that's not what happened. So the back shield oh. and the ray of light. Alright, so using the R reticle. Oh, and activates reflect. Smart nice. move. Takes, Indeed. Yeah, takes the uh, projectiles completely out of the game. Which, granted, Palutena is still difficult to deal with even without that, but. It certainly makes it harder for her to, to be able to zone people if projectiles are no longer a factor. No. How's he doing very well here? He's so, maintaining. Yeah. Oh, until then. Charlie able to, to knock him out there. So we'll see how he answers that. Uh, tries to make it back, still can't do it. So now we've got essentially where we started. <laughs> we're at a we're at a zero zero with one stock. And no, no man, you hate to see it. That's what happens when you run out of MP. <laughs> Don't you run hate out MP. to see it, man? Always carry ethers. Oh, That's indeed. the moral of the story. Always have an ether on you. You always want ethers. Indeed. You ever like go through an RPG and you notice that there's like a whole bunch of ethers and uh, potions and stuff around there and there's a save point you're like, oh, something's about to go down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> stuff's about to get serious. Indeed. So we'll see who they pick next. It looks like they're tagging Chad. Chad in. So Chad will be going up against Charlie, who of course has to pick Palutena, stick with her. Indeed. And he has lost a stock, so he will be a stock down at the start of this match. He's going with Bra Bowser. Bowser. Here. All right, so we're going to see Chad and Bowser. He has been playing, kind of favoring Kirby recently, so I'm interested to see why he went with Bowser. Indeed. Yep. And that's one stock. And Chad apparently see. ready before the, you know, <laughs> with, the, with the taunting. Indeed. And there's the taunt. There's the taunt. And here we go. Now this map brings back memories. Oh, For you sure. uh, remember the warrior wear stage, yeah. like in Brawl? Up here. Although, you know, of course, stage hazards are turned off, so you're not going to have, like, a random mini game in the middle Sadly of Sadly not. Yeah. <laughs> it would be fun, but it it's would not be. the best for competitive... I almost say competitive competitions, and I stopped myself. I was like, yeah, it's, <laughs> no. it's like that, uh, the credits song from... Princess Bride, my love is like a storybook story. I wouldn't know. <laughs> oh, I a big how young you are sometimes. Yeah. Like, yeah. Princess, have you ever seen Princess Bride? It's been a while. I got you. Well, good work tonight, Cole. Uh, sleep well, I'll most likely kill you in the morning. Yep, yeah, all right. <laughs> That's a line from that movie. <laughs> all right, so here we go. 
back to back here. Oh man, good. Wasn't able to get the slide. Good save on that, but yeah, wasn't able to execute. Palutena had thrown up the shield at the last moment. I really thought that she was actually going to counter, and that would have been devastating. That would have been. with how much power Bowser brings with that, because, you know, her counter has a pretty strong amplifier. Right. To it. And the body oh, slam. Oh, there the it is. Chat slam. And uh, we have Ian. Chad versus Ian. Ian stepping in for the blue. Go big blue. So is Ian going to go with Greninja or is he going to try something different? That is the point. Time to find out. I mean, Chad has to stick with Bowser. He's already it is true. for now. So Greninja would be a pretty good matchup against him because, of course, Greninja much faster. Uh, Greninja has much easier to pull off combos. So... Like, Greninja would actually be a good pick. I don't know if he's going to go with him. And it looks like he is going to go with Greninja. And let's also remember that fire attacks do half damage against him because he's a water-type Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> Not how that works in Smash, but... You can get the, bl the nice but opposite blue versus red here. Chad having a, a hard time letting go of his stock. Indeed. And I understand there that sometimes you don't want to you don't wanna let go of your stock, but nope. you have to. It's the rules. All right, so are they going to... I'm going to taunt. Oh, yeah, there it is. All right. <laughs> there we go. Misses the slide. So sad. I am. I feel, I feel for him. Yep. <laughs> All right, so... So far, Greninja really controlling the battle by just kind of playing keep away, and then uh, once Bowser is, uh, you know, because he has those like long frame lags after his attacks because they do so much damage, Greninja really exploiting that to the fullest of its potential. So we will see how well that goes getting a launch there, and you can see Greninja like really able to slip through Bowser's fingers every time he tries to launch an attack. Very good job on the defensive there. You see the perfect dodge. Oh, and Bowser got him. See, that's the thing. Bowser doesn't hit very often, but when he does, it hurts. Real bad. And, Gr and Greninja with the Shadow Sneak. Bowser makes it back. And Platform got him a little bit there. I think he would have probably been better off if this was a uh, one of the Final Destination or a flatter field. All right. <laughs> Ian just like bouncing off the foot still like, <laughs> yeah. like just trolling Chad at this point or what Chad Chad gets a second to take his breath though and figure out what he's going to do though so May Mayo actually worked in his indeed alright so the shadow sneak and Bowser really struggling to get oh to get man through the back very nice for the well played show. indeed <laughs> One of those old PlayStation commercials with Joe Maurer, and he's like, well played, Maurer. Yeah. <laughs> Love those. Not a big sports game guy, but I do like him on the show. Yeah, it's not bad. It's fun. All right, so looks like <laughs> nice use of the Shadow Sneak there. And yeah. the substitution by Ian, very good use of Greninja's ability to sort of slide and slip around the field without... A lot, and it of and ends in, the, in winning the match with really two stocks left. Yeah. And he didn't even have much damage. Yeah. So, very good match. Well played by Ethan. Or Ian, not Ethan. Ethan's. The f this the is team. the last white team member here, folks. Is it? Is this number six? Yes. Will it? Will here. Alright, so Will versus Ian. Will versus Ian. Can Will eek one out? Is he going to go with Sora again, or is he going to go somewhere else? Let us see. Yeah, I thought he played pretty well with Sora, so hopefully no, he, can, I, keep I, it. I <laughs> hopefully he can keep up with that and maybe change the tide here. So I think the difficulty in this one is going to be, though, Sora is very floaty, and that Indeed. does give him a little bit of a weakness to characters with really strong aerials. Right. So, now granted... Don't get me wrong, Sora has a strong aerial game himself, but if he plays a character like Greninja, which has really strong aerials, that long hang time in the air can really uh, do some damage. Indeed. So we will see if Ian is able to capitalize on that. He's saving it here. There he is. Unable. Let's see. 
Yeah, so we really hope we can debate a bit to that, but I don't think it worked. No. Nope. Alright, trying to bait him into a counter there, does work. And Sora really kind of playing a, a decent aerial game there. Alright, the down air, you're probably going to see that a lot, especially when Greninja tries to juggle him. I wonder if he did that thinking he was going to have Faraga, because he was That's what I was thinking, <laughs> yep. Yeah. Or Thundaga. I mean, that would have actually been about the right range for Thundaga. Yep. So it's interesting, one thing that Sora is doing now to kind of take a uh, Shadow Sneak out of the game, he's spent a lot of his time on platforms, and I wonder if that is because he doesn't want to get caught by that Shadow Sneak or substitution. No, I wouldn't either. Well, I understand. Yeah. <laughs> Can any of them get it here, folks? No, I think they can. Oh, there it is. As I so he's got a kill now. Oof, back to back. So now we're down to one stock on Greninja. Can Will eat this out and punish him? We don't know. We do not know. Use the Naga. Misses nope. it. Oh man, barely misses. Unable it. with a nice. Fight. Yeah, it was very well executed there. And that's the thing, Thundaga does occasionally get used and, and is successful when somebody's a little bit lower, but like Thundaga can be devastating if you get caught by it in the air. Indeed. The up A there was a bad read. Oh, oh a connection the right there. Folks. Oh no! He stuck no! under, unable to, and we have a even. You notice by the way? <laughs> yeah, we're down to one. You notice by the way that uh, Will forgot to change. That he's still got I, I did notice that. Yeah, we got, got Chad as Sora. <laughs> okay. Alright. Well, there goes Sora. Trying to... Oh, use the substitution. Yes, he is using the power of the sword here. Well, it is a well, key. The, the key yeah, well, it's, it's still a sword. Yeah, it could be a sword key. Almost kills him, but no, he de DI's out of it. Oh! oh. And, and smears the on the screen. Right, the screen <laughs> You don't see that one all that often. No, it is, it is a treat. All right, and Classic Sora wins it. Yep. So that is one for white. He's so hanging on there. Hanging on. He's hanging on as much as he can, which is the only card he can play at the moment. So what would be really funny is if now, since uh, Sora is down to his last stock, if after he takes it, all of a sudden you hear Mickey Mouse's voice come in, I'll save you, Sora! <laughs> like, that would be epic. <laughs> and out of nowhere, you see Mickey Mouse enter the playing field. <laughs> Disney would never allow that. Oh, no. Sakurai no. would never allow that. He's, he's very strict on that. No non-video game characters. Like, they had to originate from a video game to be in Smash. So that's stock one. Or even Goofy. Gorge. That's stock two. And we're going to see Jared face off against Will. Will drawing first blood with the side B. Sonic Blade. And it's going to be interesting because Sora has so much at his disposal, and even though a lot of his attacks are technically melee, um, because of his like floatiness, he's able to come in from a long ways away where Captain Falcon likes to kind of keep his opponents close. Right. So I think the range game is going to be very important in this matchup. And we're already seeing it start to take effect. Uh, both of these characters have very strong aerials. Uh, a lot of speed from both of them. So I really think it's going to come down to the zone game. Who can keep who at the distance right. they want. Not looking too good for Zora right now. Yeah, Sora is... Um, He's gotten several good hits. Gets. <laughs> I will say that was funny how he kind of misread the Thundaga. That was. So, yeah, the misses with the recovery. And now they're... Oh, <laughs> a war of attrition. <laughs> how often can we do this? Yep. But Sora came out losing Man. that one, unfortunately. Almost times it up. Oh, nice. misses it, gets it back. He's got to watch out. Oh. oh. Thundaga really wasn't a bad idea there, but he just... Oh, oh. 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 And there goes There it goes, folks. All right, so Blue takes this one.
Good job, guys. We appreciate it. So that's going to be the end of our scrimmage for the evening. Congratulations to the blue team, and hopefully this was a learning experience for everybody. We uh, appreciate everybody showing up, and this is you know, one of the rare times that because the size of the team on an actual league competition, you're only going to get to see 4v4s. Tonight, you actually got to see the entire team compete Indeed. against one another. So a really good way to showcase the skill of our student athletes. Any parting thoughts, Cole? No, it was a very eventful night. I'm glad I was able to join you as well and commentate oh, here. Very good experience. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Well, uh, we look forward to seeing you once we start official NACE competition, and Indeed. that will be coming up uh, hopefully in the next week. We'll be getting our schedule. They still haven't set the schedules in stone yet, so that's still somewhere no in the air. Yep. Don't want to promise anything yet, but our next broadcast with official competition will be coming up soon. In the meantime, uh, we appreciate your support. We appreciate our great sponsors, Registrar USA, eFootprints, and uh, all the people that came out today to support us at our opening ceremonies event. We appreciate it. We love you all, and we hope that you have a safe evening. So we'll be signing off now. In the meantime, stay the course, friends.